In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Conda. In the previous uh, video, uh, I already show you how to install Mini Conda, and so uh, in today we're going to talk about how to use it. And uh, so let's get started. First, I go to our Google site, and then from uh, the tab Resources, just click Resources. Here, I show you some of the common uh, commands that um, you need to know if you want to use Conda. So it's very, very important because uh, we are going, this is a software design, so we are going to develop uh, Python uh, packages. And it's very important that we have a Python environment. Um, and I can give you an analogy why it's very important to have a Conda environment, like isolated environment. Think about if you're using Windows, right? Uh, you probably have heard use uh, ArcGIS before, and uh, you might know that you cannot install two different versions of ArcMap on the same computer, right? So if you already have ArcGIS 10.8, uh, you cannot install another ArcGIS 10.7 or 10.6. Although you right now you can install ArcGIS Pro, but uh, for ArcMap you can only have one version on the same computer and that's not I, uh, ideal situation sometimes you if a specific uh, document only works on a specific version you might want to test like to have multiple versions on the same computer and uh, it's just not possible through other uh, uh, loads of commercial packages the reason that we want to use conda is that uh, you can create multiple isolated environments so that you can install uh, install different versions of uh, packages and you can do all kinds of testing. So also it's very important. Sometimes if you, for example, you read some uh, journal articles. And um, so the authors of the article read this, some source code. And the source code uh, has a specific requirement for some packages. For example, it only works a specific version. They say Python 2.7 or maybe Python uh, 3.7, 3.8. And on your computer right now, you only have Python 3.9. And how can you actually make the source code work if you want to reproduce other people's work? So then you need to create another environment. In that case, you don't want to have a new computer just or, or the other computer just to create an environment so that you can install the packages, right? So this is where Conda comes in. Uh, it's very useful one that I use pretty much every day. Um, and uh, although here we have a couple like commands in here, uh, once you get used to it, it's very intuitive. So they are not a lot that you need to remember. If you forget something, you can always come back to here to see at some of the common uh, commands that you will need. Okay, so uh, don't worry too much right now. We're gonna use a lot uh, later in this course because we are going to use Conda actually to create a Python environment so that we can uh, uh, do the coding. Okay, so uh, this is Conda, but uh, before we get into the detail, I want to point out the differences between Conda, Anaconda, and Mini Conda, okay? So Conda, uh, if you don't know, you can just quickly Google uh, Conda. And it's actually an open source uh, package management system and environment management system that runs on uh, different operating systems, Windows, Mac, and Linux. Think about this one as like email, okay? and you have an email address from different company or from for example different uh, organization they say utk email but you can also have gmail you can have outlook uh, email there are all kind of emails out there so conda basically just uh, uh, an open source package management system it's just like a protocol we also have so-called anaconda and mini conda so those are basically the company built on top of this one so provide um, basically more functionalities uh, or um, you can think about like email client, right? So we have, let's say we have an email, but you can uh, have different client. For example, you can have Firefox or you can have um, uh, Outlook. You can have a Microsoft Outlook or you can have Gmail, all kind of different software actually you can use to write email and send email. Okay, so that's just a company. So uh, the first one here is, is Anaconda. So this is the one that's uh, also very popular. Uh, you can see here it's a distribution of Python and R programming language for scientific computing. And so the reason for this one uh, is that Conda itself is kind of a small uh, open source package, but Anaconda actually embedded a lot of uh, other packages. So uh, 
if you want you can you can click in you can take a look uh this is basically a company and you can click individual uh, edition and then click download so from there you should be able to see for example windows uh, mac os and linux right different version if you see from the installation uh, a file here uh, it's pretty big right uh, 400 uh, megabyte and most of them are over like 500 for example 500 megabyte and this is a huge uh, uh, package um, so if you only have a lightweight computer you probably don't want this and because it use it integrated a lot of packages that we actually we don't need so uh, that's the reason why we use miniconda so previously i already show you how to install um if you go to our google drive you can also find that one under the uh, software uh, miniconda so this is like relatively small only uh, 50 60 megabyte you can also just google miniconda then you should be able to find this one if you click the link in here you will see python 3.8 and uh, python 2.7 uh, we we want this one we want python 3.8 and actually it doesn't really matter uh it, this is just basically the base version uh you can always install python 3.8 and then we can create a python environment for example 2.7 so it's very very uh flexible and for different operating systems so you can directly come in here to download keep like in mind uh this is python 3.7 uh save uh 0.8 but right now the latest python version is 3.9 so usually um this kind of uh, um companies or software packages might be uh kind of a bit behind the official uh, python packages because they need more testing so if you go go if you just search uh python latest one right now is uh 3.9 so yeah uh stable release but uh it's okay we can also install the latest one even if we install just uh the miniconda uh, with python 3.8 like i said you can create as many environment as you need you can think about like you have a house and then within the house you can have multiple uh, uh, uh living rooms or bedrooms right and so each one can be used for a specific purpose right you can um you and your spouse can have one room and your 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 your, your child or your son or your daughter can each of them can have an individual one right and each room can serve for a different uh, purpose so that's the reason that uh, they are all isolated they don't interfere uh, interfere with each other if you don't want a specific environment you can always remove them if you need a new one you can always create so uh, it's basically unlimited and so in this course we're just going to use the uh, mini conda here um highly recommend you in, use the 64-bit uh, uh, version okay if you have not installed this one on your computer make sure you watch the video uh i think it's under lectures okay so it'll be the uh this uh, week two uh the first one here install visual studio code git and miniconda uh, we already talked about git and github so we're going to talk about this and after we have the environment set up then we're going to talk about visual studio code so uh in today uh, this video we're just going to use uh conda and so let's come back to here uh the list once you have installed the package then on your start menu you should be able to see this one anaconda like i said um mini conda is still part of the anaconda so uh, even if you install a uh, mini conda on the menu item it's still going to show as anaconda so this is uh very consistent and but you see the parentheses in here mini conda 3 right then the, we have two in here uh we're just going to use this one anaconda prompt okay so click this one uh don't click the the power share we just want this one once you click uh it will open a command line a command uh, window and let me uh move this one to the right and let me also close on the right maybe put this one on the left and then let's put this one here so i can also open my uh file explorer and so that you can see when we create a new environment uh what it's going to do uh with the computer so let's get started first um once you open the command uh, uh anaconda prompt you will see from here the first one here is the directory right you by default you use a directory but you also see this one here on the on, on the left side are uh, base parentheses if you open a regular command line for example if you uh, search and then just type cmd 
like a uh, command prompt look at the differences between these two right uh the directory is still the same but you don't have a base parentheses uh, at the beginning of this line here so the reason is that after we install miniconda it creates a base environment so the base environment um let me close this one and we can just uh, go through these command lines one by one so the first uh, you can check for example what kind of a conda uh, version uh, has been installed on your computer so just type conda info and then hit enter you should be able to see the list of like environment settings for conda so you can see here uh, right now the active environment is the base think about like this is your house right within your house you can separate to multiple rooms but right now uh, after the installation you only have an empty house so the house is basically right now have some basic settings but it doesn't really have a room yet you need to design and need to create a room so uh, within the base you can find out where it is located so right now uh, the environment is located users and your username and also miniconda so if i come back to my uh, computer and then see users like right, my name and if you scroll down you should be see here anaconda a uh, miniconda so this is where everything has been installed on your computer don't delete this one okay so once you have this uh you can also take a look some uh the config uh, uh file you don't have to worry and the, right now the version is 4.9.2 uh, i believe this is the latest one because we just installed this one um last week and also the base environment right writable uh environment directory so those are some of the things that we can look at besides the um I think most of the environment that very important one thing is you want to look at is under Miniconda there's a folder uh, named uh, EMVS so this is the one that later when we create a new environment uh, it will be stored in here okay and keep that in mind for the base environment you don't really want to install anything here uh, for the base environment because if you are uh, messed up with this one sometimes the um, conda might not work properly and that's the reason why we want to create isolated environment so that you can test things once you're done with the testing you can delete that but for the base environment you just want to keep it clean as it is so don't do anything with this one okay and also but sometimes you if you have installed this one long time ago if you want to update the base environment uh you can so you can use this one conda update uh, uh hyphen and oh by the way so first you can click the uh, contact uh, cheat sheet uh, and then you can open this one you can take a look this is a pdf document so some of the command uh, actually the common one i already copy and paste in here but if you want to uh, see more detail you can uh, you can um, open this one you can take a look the pdf uh, if you want to learn more but uh, you don't have to okay so some of the common uh, uh, commands we're going to use i already uh, put in here so you can just use this without having to worry too much so first of all uh, if you want to update uh, you can just come here copy and paste and if you want to like paste you can hit enter things we all oh, we are using the latest one uh you might know okay so anyway so we have some packages that we can actually update and once you copy and paste so conda is conda conda update uh hyphen n base hyphen n uh, you can also have double hyphen and then name but we can just use hyphen n so basically we are going to update uh, the base environment and then update conda so if you see from this one this shows you like what kind of packages will be downloaded right so these are some of the packages we downloaded and then be updated you can see also the version right from which one to which one so uh, we can just simply hit y and then it's going to update all the packages so uh, pretty simple and uh, straightforward once we update the base environment i can think about like in your house right now uh you you put it as a house but you haven't done anything with the house yet and after a while before you're going to uh create uh, uh design some uh, rooms for your children you might want to just clean the house and then keep the house up to date and then you can start going inside to do something so okay once we have the base environment uh, updated then we can take a look at maybe uh there there's something in already in there but you you already forgot so the best way that before you create any in, new environment is to check uh, what kind of existing environment already in there so you can use this command line called uh conda env list conda env list 
this one will show you how many environment right now are being uh, installed on your computer so as you can see if you all you just, just install this one last week uh, most likely it was just a new environment so it was just the base environment and where is this one located um as i mentioned earlier uh, it's just this one in here so this is the base environment and next we're going to create a new one so after you have the house you want to have a new room uh, for your children then you can create a new one so what how can we create a new one uh, use this command line conda create hyphen n and the name of the environment and then python okay so as you can see let me go back to the previous one right this is um uh the version of python anyway before we get into that we can also check the python version so we can just conda list this one will show you all the packages right now are being installed within the base environment so what we want to check is python if you see from this one right uh python 3.8.5 okay how about this uh, right now you want the python 3.9 the latest one can we do that yes so this is the reason right before uh we we don't want to update the base environment python to 3.9 we want to create an isolated one and then install python uh, 3.9 so how can we do that uh, let me take uh, this one in here so all we need to do uh you can copy this one but make sure you change the all uppercase this one to the name of the environment so i can change it maybe to python uh, py39 right they, it can be any name but don't start the name with a number so all we need to do conda create hyphen n and then py39 they say the, the the name of the environment and then you can just type python so there are two ways you can create you can just type python it will automatically install the latest version you can also have an equal sign and then three point something uh it will pull a specific version i can also 3.7 uh, whatever number uh, uh, specific python version you want and in this case i'm just going to type just python so once again conda create hyphen n so this is the name of the environment and then we're going to install a python version to that environment so just hit enter um oop. and hit enter after that uh it's going to show you that okay blah blah these packages will be installed and if right now if you see from this one python packages main win 64 python 3.9.1 so this is indeed the latest one if you want to install you just hit enter or you can also type y and then hit enter if you don't want to install uh it, it will just uh, skip also from the environment here one reason that people use conda is that you don't need to repeatedly download the packages so if you already have one environment installed on your computer and if you create the other one with a similar environment the packages that you already downloaded it will be directly be used so you don't need to re-download everything and this is very nice can save you some uh, um, um, network uh, uh, bandwidth so now we have created the environment name uh, py39 right and so the next step if you see from the instruction here to activate this environment use conda activate py39 so similarly um, i show you here the command line conda activate the name of the environment and what we can do conda before we i hit enter pay attention to this one right so right now it's based after i conda activate py39 and if i hit enter it will change to py39 so think about like in your house right at the beginning it's just you enter the the door and then it's a big house then we enter a specific room right so right now we enter this pi py39 so this is the new uh python environment that we just created so now we are within here now this room become becomes uh, isolated so you can do whatever you want within this one it won't affect the base environment so whatever you do within this one is just belong to this one so even you if you break something within this uh your base environment is still intact okay so it's very nice that you can do all kind of testing you can install all kind of packages without having to uh, mess up the base environment so next once we activate the environment we can take a look at what kind of packages being installed so you can just type conda uh, list 
again uh, because we only install python so those are some of the basic one uh, you don't really have many to uh, the list uh, on the list in here so python 3.9 and then pip and then uh, twin uh, so load the pip it is also something that we can we can use to install python uh, packages but for now uh, we're just going to uh, keep the uh, default one in here and so this is how you can activate and then get into the environment if you for example let's say you are having you've been doing something in here and after that uh, you are done you want to get out how can you do that uh, you can just conda activate that means I'm done with this one. I want to get out to the base environment. Then you can just hit enter, or you can just simply close the command um, window. Um, that's fine as well. If you want to enter again, uh, you can also type uh, conda activate py39. You can also use your keyboard uh, up up uh, up arrow. So you you automatically figure out the, the one that you used before. You can scroll and to take a look at which one you you we want to use. I can say conda activate py39. Hit enter. So it comes back again so we get into uh, this uh, environment and next we can also install some uh, packages um, so conda list is to these some packages but you can also conda install some uh, new uh, packages so i can say conda install and this is where you can find the packages but how do you know how do you know like what kind of packages can you uh, install and one website is called conda force uh, force although you can use like conda um directly but i'm going to show you here conda force so this is actually a uh, kind of a, you can think about this as an app store uh, it has a lot of packages but you can also use pip okay so uh if you go to the website conda hyphen uh force dot go uh, org, and then click our uh, packages here is going to show you the list of packages are uh, available and as you can see it's a huge uh, it's a list you can also do the source so later i'm going to show you here uh, like gmap okay so this is the package that i developed and at the end i'm also going to show you how you can uh distribute your packages to conda first so that anyone around the globe can actually install uh, your package so if i click uh, this package and if you click in here you will see this one but you can also see like where it is um so for example uh this uh, navigate to github but you can click conda first actually to see this one here right now um so conda first packages and then the name of the package you can see here it has been downloaded more than uh 18 000 times you can also see uh the files like different uh, um, um uh, versions so you can see from this one in here also you can click the command line okay this is how you can install the package on the install and then hyphen c c represent uh channel so this is the conda first channel and this is name of the package okay so you can either pay, maybe just copy this one and then come back to here and you can just uh, paste this one and then hit enter so this one should automatically be able to install this one but uh, because some of the dependencies of GMAP uh, does not um, support Python 3.9 yet, so it might have an error. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Solving environment. Sometimes this might take a while. Uh, if it's taking too long, I, I can show you the other way how you can uh, install the packages. Um, we can just wait and see if it works. If not, uh, we will try the other way. <coughs> So this is one way you can install a package keep that in mind you can install from multiple uh, 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 package repository you can try this uh, conda first but there's another one called uh, uh, PyP, uh, pypi so you can just pypi.org and this is actually official python uh, uh, package uh, uh, software repository also you're going to see here gmap right and this one uh you can also in here if you saw the command line you can just simply pip install gmap and the reason like why this one is taking so long uh because if you already have some packages on your computer and this package gmap also rely on some other packages it needs to figure out um what kind of packages need to be installed okay so uh sometimes it's taking a long, uh, a long time to figure out the dependency so if you don't want to you can just control um 
So you see here it's taking a long time. Uh, I can just simply close this one and then we can come back again uh, to take a look. So once again, I'm just going to type um, Conda activate ey 39 Again, if you don't remember exactly the name of the environment, you can Conda env list. And this one right now shows you the Python environment. As you can see, py39, you can also take a look at where this uh, Python environment uh, is being located. So it is under um, here, miniconda3, emv3, and so this is the folder. It basically, it's new conda environment that you created. It's just simply a folder within your computer. Once you are done with this one, uh, you can simply remove the folder, but uh, we can remove it from the command lines in here uh, if you want. So simply, we can just type uh once we act so once you figure out the name of the environment you can just uh conda conda activate py39 and then we can either uh right now we can use pip okay pip install ge emap okay and if you hit enter it's going to click all the packages this one is automatically installed so uh different from what we used earlier use conda uh conda uh, because it, it needs to resolve the dependencies, so it takes a long time actually to to figure out. But if you use pip, um, it will install very quickly. But the downside is that uh, if you have some different versions of uh, packages installed on your computer, sometimes it one might mess up the environment. So um, that's the downside. But I'm gonna show you later how we can actually uh, create uh, um, different uh, uh, versions. So we just let this one finish, but we're gonna create a new environment. Uh, so that we can use conda but we can there's another one called um, mamba so we can see mamba conda if you use these two uh, so this is the, a much better one much faster but uh, i'm going to show you here uh, how to actually to install this one and then we can use mamba to replace conda uh, so in that way it will solve the dependency uh, conflict very very quickly so let me see if you can open a new one okay open and uh we're going to create a new environment so conda create right hyphen n again if you don't forget uh don't remember you can come back to here to take a look at some of the command lines so uh okay so the previous uh, one already finished as you can see here we although we only install one package it actually install a bunch of packages because each package is built on top of other packages so you want to end up with a list of a long list of packages uh, depends on what kind of package you, you you install anyway so next we're going to create another environment and uh, i'm going to show you how we can use conda to uh, and mamba to install new packages okay so conda create hyphen n this time i'm going to use a name called ge they say uh, the package the environment name is called uh, ge and then python I'm going to just a specific using a specific version Python 3.8, okay, and then hit enter. Then you can just type Y, enter. So we create a new environment. Then we need to activate. So on that activate, uh, GE, okay. And now from the left side here, uh, you see we have parentheses GE. Once we have this one, uh, first we're going to use Mamba. So we can come back to here. Uh, like I said, conda install, and this is the package we want to install. But we want to install from a uh, conda first. We can just call, copy, come back to here. Paste, and then hit enter. This one should usually be a bit faster compared to others. Okay, so you can see. Um, we just need to type Y and then hit enter. Once we have this uh, Mamba package installed, then we can use that to install any kind of package. Just replace Conda install with Mamba install, and then you will be good to go. It might take a couple seconds. This is a very nice one because uh, it's using basically the lightweight version, much, much more uh, efficient compared to Conda uh, itself. Okay, we are done. And then you can just Conda list. 
to take a look at some of the uh, the packages being installed and you will see mum buying here now next let's come back to here to do the same thing like earlier when we use conda install uh, gmap it took a long time so, okay so like this one now we can just use mamba so we just replace anything conda with mamba we can just say uh oh by the way this conda activate uh, gee -E. okay so okay it's already in there then we can just uh, mamba oh, mamba install and then you can put the name first the package name first and then hyphen c conda first or you can also put this one uh, before the package name so either one is fine um, I usually prefer just put the package name first so I'm going to use uh, I'm going to install gmap and then the gmap comes from the conda first right okay so hyphen c and then conda first hit enter so this one uh, right now you will see it's going to resolve the dependency pretty much quickly compared to um, the uh, conda itself Okay, so there you see, uh, it will show you what kind of packages you need to install. And this like green color is the one that uh, you'll be installed here. And it also shows you which one we need to be updated, right? So all we need to do, uh, you can just hit Y. And then enter. So it's going to automatically install the packages uh, pretty quickly. As I show you, there are two ways you can install uh, packages. The first one is just using pip install so this is basically install something from the official uh, uh pi uh, pi uh, repository think about like you have multiple you can install packages from multiple uh software database okay this is the official one but the downside of this one is that it does not resolve the dependency so you install whatever uh it's asked to install it doesn't figure out like is, is it going to cause any problem if you install this one or or um or not but for conda force this one will tell you if you have some other packages already installed in computer if you're trying to install this one if there is some conflict it won't install it will let you know okay so and this is the two common ways if you use python uh most likely encounter um this uh later one way or the other because you need just need to install packages from somewhere okay so these are the two uh primary ways that you uh, can install and so this one is uh, i think it's almost done but as you can see it's a long list of packages and also see from this one total downloaded almost 450 megabytes so uh, because it built on top of the other packages uh, other packages so sometimes it might take a while to download depending on depends on your uh, internet but you can also right now look at the folder me conda environment and you will see this one right this is the new one that we just created and if you want you can right click to take a look at the file size of this okay so py39 is almost 433 megabyte Let's take a look at how big is this one Ooh. This one is much bigger, so 3.8 gigabyte. As you can see, any something you install from Conda, uh, it's going to be different from something you install using pip. So I don't know how why we need this big, but some of those actually copy from uh, the base environment, so it doesn't actually download like 3. Point something gigabyte from the internet. But I uh, just want to let you know if you want to find something within here. So after you install the package, you go in. And where do you know where do you find the packages being installed on this environment? You can go to G G and then I think just under uh the lips. So like not this one. It's just this one lipped. And if you can scroll down, you find this one site packages. So this is where you find all the packages being installed to the environment. You will see here if you scroll down. This is a long list of packages and the one that we installed is a gmap so let's see if we can find out here scroll down okay so you see like gmap and then data 
So this is the package that we just installed and oh, oh it's actually already I think already uh finished so we can right now we can just use conda list it will show you the list of our uh, packages being already being installed email here right was in point eight eight and on the right here it will show you where does this one come from so this one come from a uh, conda first if i show you the other one that we install all earlier right so conda activate py39 so this is the first one we install using pip right so we i can also just type conda list and you can compare the differences between these two um right we also have gmap here install this one the same version but this one come from pipe pi yeah. this one come from uh, conda first okay so there's some the best practice is that uh you want to keep it consistent if you use pip you also want to use pip for other packages but if you use conda force you want to use all for conduct uh, conda force although you can mix but sometimes it might cause some issues if especially if some packages use the same dependencies and then if the dependencies has different uh, version then sometimes it might mess up the uh the environment so you don't want to um make sure that you don't want to have multiple use multiple channel so this is using pipe py this is using uh conda force and once you install the packages uh you can for example you can just come in here once you are uh inside the environment you can just type python and then hit enter enter and once you are in here then you can just import the library but you can see i can just import gemap okay so then you can do coding but we don't actually do coding from the command line we're going to uh, use visual studio code uh, to do the coding but for now i think this is uh, enough for this video so uh just to recap what we talk about we introduce conda and we also install some um introduce some uh, common command lines to uh, install the package you can always come back here and by the way if you want to uninstall some package you can always just conda uninstall and then the name of the package also if you want to uh you can also type exit actually environment so if you want to remove a specific uh conda environment uh, you can do that as well so i can just show you like they say i don't want the py39 uh, uh environment that we created we can just remove it um all at once right? so all you need to do conda in the somewhere where it is conda remove I have it in here oh okay this one so it be conda oh, remove hyphen n py39 so this is the environment we want to remove and then hyphen hyphen oh hit enter let me see conda we need to get out the environment first so conda deactivate and then get into the base environment after that we can just do conda env list see if we can see the environment okay it's just still there so now we can just use conda remove hyphen npy39 oh and you show you like uh, do you want to in, uh, uninstall the uh all the packages just y and hit enter so it's automatically in, uh, uninstall everything so remove the environment so basically right now you clean up the environment after you are done with this uh, so hit enter if you type conda env list again now it's gone so py39 is no longer there so this is the way that you can clean up uh dd on environment after you are done with uh, testing but you can just use this one for the whole semester or you can create a new one for di uh, different uh, purposes
okay so that's all for this uh video so uh in the next video we're going to show you how to use visual studio code to do coding and then connect to the environment that we created okay so that you can start developing um, python packages okay so i see you in the next uh, video take care